So for today's mod, mod, I guess, yeah. Um, the hood's really weak, so I need to install these on there. The, the arrow catch, all they are is a, um, it's a safety feature to lock it down. Just push the button here. It's a little hard. Once that pops up, see it there. Just open it on up, and it'll remove that little guy right there. Which will go through this guy right here, just like that. So basically, these will be in your hood. These will be in somewhere on the vehicle, mounted to somewhere that's metal. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, so far, we've got these installed. They're pre-existing holes, luckily for me. I believe it's that way on all the uh, 15 to 17 models and on about 18 and beyond. But same thing on this side, pre-existing hole. Um, I've already marked out the spots, that blue stuff, that is toothpaste. You just dab it on the top here, dab it on the top of this one, close the hood, and then you'll have markings right there and right there. That's where you're going to drill. So for us, that is right there. So it's going to be somewhere about right here. Somewhere over here. I've removed the intake already. That's why this is opened up. That way it's just more room to work with. It's easier that way. Um, I'll take you guys step by step as I start to get it done. Um, I'm going to lay this out. I'm doing this by myself, so I got to. I'll cut it all together and make it look good. I'm going to put this over the engine bay so none of the uh, fiberglass or if you have an aluminum hood or anything like that drops down onto the engine, into the engine, anything like that. So now that I got that done, that way this ca the cloth catches all the, uh, the debris and shit that falls from it. Um, I'm going to drill my holes. What I'm using is a uh, drill with a uh, step it. I find these to be better than the... Um, Let's see, like these types of drill bits here. Only reason being is these tend to pull, especially if you're doing aluminum or metal. I don't know about fiberglass. I haven't tested it on it, but I'm not going to. They pull at the metal. So it creates an uneven surface. you got to sand it down. And if, you're using, if you have paint and that's on top here, luckily I got wrap, then you're going to have an uneven surface, which you're going to end up sanding down, sanding the paint away, and then it essentially messes it up. With this tool, it it's a step bit, so it just does it nice and easy. There's no problems with it. There's no pulling. There's no grabbing, tearing, anything like that. It's simply... Yeah, grabs it. Goes through. Take it out. That way you guys can see it real quick. Of course, I'm going to have to drill bigger, but, I mean, you can see just how flush that hole is there's no tearing of it there's nothing like that so i would highly suggest using a step bit over any drill bit if you can if, uh, you can get them at autozone you can get them at um any hardware store anyone doesn't matter mine is comes from this milwaukee one which i got at home depot it's got the smaller version as well so all right so just to kind of get back on track here you can see all the crap that's going to fall from your hood so i would highly suggest again the cloth all right so Got my holes drilled. I've uh, yeah, it's all the way through on both sides here. Up here, you see right there. Now this may look like it's polished, but that's just vinyl, so not. So basically, from here, we've got it on both sides. We're gonna start laying down masking tape. We're gonna start marking it up, trying to figure out the position, angle, and everything that we want these uh, hood fins to be. So I'll get back to you guys on how to do that. So I got the hood closed, you can see the holes barely up top here, you can see this one a little bit better. Uh, Aero Latch with their products, this was included, so this is awesome because it's already a template here. It's already got crosshairs and everything, I'm sorry my camera won't focus for some reason. Um, basically all, all the wording is is crosshairs. Basically what's going to happen is depending on how you want them, if you want them facing that way, or if you want them facing that way, depending on your style here, where the crosshairs meet, so boom, right there, this bottom one up, and these guys, once where they meet, 
that's where the hood is actually going to latch at. So that's right where, I don't know if you can see it, but the little, the pin's actually down there. So that's, that's where you want to make sure that you, um, that your center point is. So make sure when you do it, um, I'm going to master tape it, I'm going to do everything like that, and then draw it out. That way you guys will have a clue what I'm talking about here. Alright, so I got my duct tape down. I've already poked my hole. I've already took in, I've already, well, taken, yeah. I've already taken the, uh, the sketch. And you can see it right there. I should, probably should have used something other than blue, but you can see it. Um, lines right there. You got your hole. You got all that. So from here, um, I'm going to make a template going along this curve here. Seeing where this is, that way I can match the angle on that side as well. So I'll get back to you guys on how I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so basically I took the other side of this, since it's just cardboard and it's instructions, which you don't really need. Um, I've drawn here. Taking one of these guys, because these are going to be on the lower, and it's going to slide through, and that's what it's going to hold it from uh, flapping on the hood. Taking one of these, I placed it face down sketched out and then from there what I'm gonna do is you can see I got my cut there I'm gonna cut out half of this that way I can slide it see where it's at and then on this side where the hood curves bend it and then we'll cut there as well that way it'll be perfectly aligned and all you have to do is go to the other side and just flip it so I'll get back to you guys once I get done with that and show you guys how that works out. So here's our template. You can see. Here's another thing you might want to do as well. Mark front. Mark front at least on one of the sides. You don't have to worry about the other side because obviously it is. So mark front. That way when you flip it, you know which way exactly it's going. I'm going to do that right after I get done here though. That being said. So first off, I'm going to take it. going to line it up. I know it looks like... It goes over, but it's actually perfectly with it a little bit. That point it probably could come off, but it's good enough. Now, the curve of the hood, you can see, just because I'm not pressing this part down, but it goes with that curve there. So basically all I'm going to do is take this, flip it, bring it over to this side, Line it with this curve here, this hood, and then put it right there. And that will be exactly where it's at. And you don't have to worry about like lining it up across from each other because it's already going to be lined up because of where the hood pins are placed and where the holes are already drilled. Crosshairs are going to end in the same exact spot. The only thing you really had to worry about was the angle, which is what this guy is for. That way you don't have one facing like this and the other's facing like that. And it's all fucked up. So now we're going to get started on this side. Um, basically, I've already got my, my uh, masking tape down. I doubled it just because this is wrap and this is pen or marker, whatever you're going to use. Marker's probably easier, but I don't have one currently, so I'm using pen. That way it doesn't bleed through and get onto your wrap and stain that. So if you're wrapped, I would suggest that. If you're painted, it's fine. It come, it'll come off as long as, uh, yeah, you use the right stuff. So basically, here's the uh, template. First off, we're going to find our hole, which is right there. Just take your pen, just stab it on through. Take your finger, pinky, whatever you got, and that way it opens that up. So now, your next portion is going to be right here. Remember what side you had the how you had these. The, the little part was in the back, big part is in the front for me. You can flip around, you can do whatever you want, however you want it. I prefer it this way, just because when you push down, the, the uh, latch is going to be right here, not up here. It just makes more sense to me. So, here we go. Now we're going to put it on there. We're going to line up the crosshairs so that this is the center point. Alright, we're going to take our template, don't 
Don't worry if it comes out of um, it comes out like that. You're gonna move it around anyways. So we're basically gonna line it up. So now it's lined up. It's really hard to do with one hand. Now the curve is right there. You can see it right there. So it looks as if the front needs to go over, come towards me just a little bit. Probably right about there is what it's looking like. The curve right there, once again. All right, so from here, this is gonna take some, some maneuvering because remember each time you move one of these, it's gonna move the other part, so. Just remember where your crosshairs are, right there, so that'll be good for me. From here, check back over on the curve, probably could, could come towards me a little bit. So now from there, we are lined up with the curve here. We are centered just about there, we could probably move it back a little bit. This will give way. Alright, so that's looking like perfect right there. You got crosshairs. Well, all are going on that point there. You got lined up on the side here. So after that, just hold the, um, hold the template down. You no longer need this piece. Slide that out of the way. I'm doing this with one hand also, so bear with me. Now, you can see the crosshairs are lined up there perfectly. Everything's good. I'm going to start drawing, which unfortunately I can't do because you got to hold the template and draw. That way it doesn't move around, shift, anything like that. So I'll get back to you guys once it's drawn out and all that. Alright, so now we're all done with that. We drew our cross crosshairs, you can see. This is from freehand. So I would suggest get like a piece of this or a piece of the other one and just have it with you. That way you can just line it up from crosshair to crosshair and then you can draw it. You can see it goes perfectly right there. That's exactly where the, uh, the little pin is down there anyways. So that is going to be perfect. So now what we're going to start doing is the scariest part. Now we're going to start cutting. Now cut inside of this it's fine if it's smaller because you can always go bigger if you cut too big you cannot go smaller so cut small and you can always you can always grind it out you can always I mean use a Dremel that way you can just cut it and then get one of the um, little the little uh, Dremel like sander ones you can just go around this just go around it and open it up until eventually it fits perfectly nicely in there nice and tight and then we'll go from there I will get back with you guys in just a bit. Before I get going here, here's the tools that I was talking about. Here's the actual tool. Here's the Dremel. It's the uh, cutting pad on it. I've got two replacements just in case. I've got more over there. But make sure you have more than one of these because they do tend to break, especially if you're a little rough on them. The other one that I was talking about, grinder, right here. You hook this up to the Dremel and you just take it around the edges. That way it gives you a nice smooth surface. It gives you a nice clean cut. And you don't have to worry about cutting too much. So always cut inside of those lines. Even though that's the exact design, cut inside of it, grind it out. So here's round one. Sorry the uh, extra noise. You got the trash truck over there. So here's round one. Um, you can see the cut's not perfect at all. It's not supposed to be. It's not going to be because of it's a circular, it's like a circular um, object you're trying to cut with a fucking blade that is that big and then it is um, it's also a blade it doesn't do circles that well so you can see I left myself a little bit of room on all the sides you can see it all so now we're gonna take our Dremel again but this time instead of cutting we're gonna use the uh, grinder pad here and we're just going to go around a few times, kind of make, make it into that shape that it needs to be for this, this to work. Once you get done with that, you can see it still needs a little bit of a touch up. So I pulled off the uh, masking tape as you can see. 
so I'm gonna go through and kind of eyeball it right there but here's our uh, here's the hood latch so we're gonna see if it go fits nice and easy and it looks like it does so you can see it fits all the way down nice and perfectly um, so the hole is good uh, just for me just because I know what I did I'm gonna finish off rounding this and make it nice and clean that way it's not just a mess like that also another thing that I would suggest you have on hand is a vacuum reason for the vacuum is as you can see that's literally all just um, fiberglass that I've uh, grinded off of there so before you lift it up that way it doesn't slide in the hood and you got fiberglass sitting in your hood and all sorts of crap like that of course there's gonna be some but this way you can alleviate most of that problem as well as get the uh, big chunks and stuff off here before you actually wipe down the car to make it all clean again move on I've got the hood latch in place it's not it's not bolted down yet so bear with me on that once it gets bolted down that'll be straight um, the hood is closed you can see that's where the um, little catcher is right now it is a little bit low well yeah it's about two centimeters low so what I'm gonna have to do is raise that up a little bit and then from what it looks like it it'll be perfectly perfect right there I won't have to adjust it I won't have to do anything else for it so this side is basically done all I gotta do is adjust it bring it up and that's it now I've raised it up a little bit you can see right there there's the gap um, this might be enough might not we'll check it and then we'll see again Again, it's not bolted down, so. All right. So it looks like we are almost there. We need to raise it up probably about another half a centimeter or so. And then it, this side will be done. And, um, well, other than actually drilling these holes and then putting the screws in the, uh, well, yeah, the, screw, the, the nuts and bolts through. First side, again, I haven't bolted it down yet. But you can see the little rod and the, uh, the actual tie down part, they go through perfectly. This guy goes down, push the little button to bring it up. Once you bring it up, you'll see that little guy attract. And after that, you can lift the hood. So now they've got it all adjusted, all correctly, you can see. Um, show you how that mechanism works once this is actually bolted down it will actually be perfectly flush Enough right now yeah. so you can see it goes through right there so as soon as it goes down you'll press this little tab it'll pop up like this you bring it up and go just like that and it'll fully retract and then you won't have any problems at all just a simple boom And this will hold it down and that'll be good on there what's gonna happen is we gotta pretty much drill the holes so that these the uh, nuts and bolts can go through the top side through the through the uh, actual hood and then down to the bottom side which will be this guy right here so basically after you get done um, drilling the holes putting the screws in putting the backings on putting the, the nuts on there that's what they'll look like I know I kind of skipped this part, but I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I did end up cutting the back side of this as well, so that way you could put on the, um, the little bottom piece and actually get in there to work with it. But I just used the same the template, same thing, kind of cut it from the top, that way I could see what I'm doing, and then uh, pulled out that piece, and now it's good. They're both in there nice and tight little button lift it up you can hear it unlock you can see it unlock this side push the little button pull it up see it on latch once you pop the hood that if you still have this middle latch that'll be your last latch I do um, the only reason I put them on the sides is because without those you can hear all the movement in the actual hood it's not it, it's fiberglass so it's real light and it's not really uh, 
it's just better. It vibrates at about 70 miles per hour, so anything over that, I was staying away from. But now, I got total comfort with these guys. It's going to hold down my hood real good. Not allowing it to move at all anymore. And uh, that's the final product. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And thank you for watching.